In a small suburban neighborhood, a group of children played and laughed under the warm rays of the sun. Little did they know that an extraordinary event was about to unfold, an event that would forever change their lives. On a seemingly ordinary day, the sky darkened unexpectedly, and a chilling silence fell upon the neighborhood. The sun disappeared behind an ominous shadow, casting an eerie glow across the land. It was a zombie eclipse, a phenomenon that occurred once every century, unleashing hordes of the undead upon the world. Terrified and confused, the children quickly realized the gravity of the situation. They gathered together, seeking safety and a way to survive the impending nightmare. Among them were Amy, the resourceful leader, Ethan, the brave and quick-witted one, Lily, the compassionate and level-headed girl, and Noah, the youngest but full of determination. With their hearts pounding, the children embarked on a treacherous journey through their once familiar neighborhood, now transformed into a wasteland filled with wandering zombies. They moved cautiously, stealthily evading the undead as they searched for a secure hideout. Their first stop was an old abandoned house on the outskirts of town. They fortified the entrances, stacking furniture and boarding up windows. Inside, they scrounged for supplies, finding canned food, water, and makeshift weapons. It was a temporary sanctuary a place to regroup and plan their next move. Days turned into weeks, and the children navigated the zombie-infested streets, venturing out only when absolutely necessary. They became experts at dodging the relentless undead, their survival instincts sharpening with each encounter. One fateful day, while on a supply run to a local grocery store, they stumbled upon a peculiar discovery, a hidden cellar beneath the store's stockroom. With cautious excitement, they descended into the dimly lit underground space, hoping it would provide a more permanent refuge. To their surprise, the cellar was spacious and equipped with survival essentials, canned goods, bottled water, medical supplies, and even a small generator. It seemed like a sanctuary untouched by the chaos above. The children transformed the cellar into their fortress, fortifying the entrance and establishing a strict routine. They divided responsibilities, taking turns keeping watch, rationing supplies, and tending to their physical and emotional well-being. Days turned into months, and the children's bond grew stronger as they faced the horrors of the outside world together. They became a family, relying on each other for support and comfort. They found solace in laughter and stories, reminding themselves of the beauty and joy that existed beyond the darkness. With time, the zombie eclipse began to wane, the sun reappeared, casting its warm glow once again. The children ventured cautiously outside, observing the remnants of a world forever changed. They realized that surviving the apocalypse had shaped them into resilient individuals, capable of facing any challenge that lay ahead. As they journeyed back to their neighborhood, they encountered other survivors, communities of people who had weathered the storm. They joined forces, pooling their resources and knowledge to rebuild their shattered world. Years passed, and the children, now grown, became leaders in their new society. They shared their experiences, teaching others the importance of unity, compassion, and resilience in the face of unimaginable adversity. The zombie eclipse became a distant memory, a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity. The children turned survivors proved that even in the darkest of times, hope could flourish, and the bonds forged in the crucible of survival would endure. The zombies might attack you, but do not worry. Subscribe my channel and I will save you all.